Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at something else called the equivalent mass when it comes to the oxidation reduction reaction. So in this particular case we use the same elements we did before. Uh, the question is how many moles of potassium permanganate are needed to oxidize one mole of iron sulfate and as we saw in the previous example here's the uh, unbalanced reaction for now but you can see that for the potassium permanganate the manganese goes from a plus seven state to a plus two state in an acidic solution so that means that for each one mole of potassium permanganate five moles of electrons are absorbed because that's the uh, oxidizer so it's it's accepting those electrons and then for each mole of iron sulfate, one mole of electrons is donated because the iron is being oxidated. So it's a five moles, uh, let's see, uh, so one mole of this can really oxidize five moles of iron sulfate. So what is the equivalent mass? What is the mass that you need of this to oxidize the certain mass of that? So what we're going to do in order to figure that out is we're going to find out what the molar masses of each of these two uh, uh, molecules. So here we have potassium permanganate, we have the potassium molecule, we have the manganese molecule, and we have four oxygen molecules. So you can see that per mole, we multiply 16 times 4 for the oxygen, so 16 times 4, uh, plus, oop, let's do that again, 16 times 4, plus uh, we have 54.94 uh, plus 39.1 and so per mole we have a mass of 158.04 grams per mole for the potassium permanganate. For the iron sulfate, what's the molar mass? Well, we have uh, 64 grams of oxygen plus 32.07 grams for the sulfur plus 55.85 grams for the iron and so we have 151.92 grams per mole. Uh, that's the molar mass for iron sulfate. So if the same number of electrons per mole were absorbed as they were donated or accepted and donated, some, you know, usually they were, I guess they use the word accepted sometimes. Uh, we can then say if there was a one-to-one -one correspondence, then the molar mass equivalence would be that you would need 158.04 grams of potassium permanganate to uh, oxidize 151.92 grams of iron sulfate. But it's not a one-to-one -one situation here because here you can see that one mole of this will oxidize five moles of this. That means you only need one-fifth the mass. So the equivalent mass then would be that we take this number here and divide by five because you only need one-fifth as much because for each mole you are absorbing or accepting five times as many electrons as being donated by the iron in the uh, iron sulfate. So you can see then, then the equivalent mass, and this is how you would then calculate it, the equivalent mass of the potassium permanganate compared to uh, the iron sulfate is equal to one-fifth the molar mass of potassium permanganate, which is one-fifth of 158 0.04 grams to uh, one mole which is a uh, of and it's probably better just to write of of potassium permanganate uh, compared to 151.92 grams of iron sulfate so what is 158.04 divided by 5 158 0.04 divided by 5 equals 31.61, so that would be 31.61 grams of uh, potassium permanganate is equivalent to, and that's where the equivalency expression comes from, is equivalent to 151.92 grams of iron sulfate. So, Another way of looking at it is how many grams of potassium permanganate do you need to oxidize one mole or 151.92 grams of iron sulfate? And the answer would be 31.61 grams. And that's what we call the mass equivalency in an oxidation and reduction reaction. That's how you do that.